welcome to this week's Grapevine. We've decided to visit Swindon. This is a town that's fast becoming a city with a population of over 200,000 people. We wanted to find local musical talent. What a disappointment. No decent venues, minimum local bands. Why? Because the town doesn't seem to care about its local musical talent. The band's having to play in pubs sport and sports halls, which we all know doesn't give music its true sound and media coverage. A&R simply don't visit. What we decided to do as a special on the grapevine this week is to devote the show to the views of the bands and their public. We first looked at the venues for live music around Swindon. The Wyvern Theatre is situated in the heart of Swindon, but not at the centre of live music. The theatre hosts mainly family entertainment and together with the fact that it is seating only, makes the Wyvern a very infrequent choice for touring bands. Swindon has two main leisure centres, the Link Centre and the Oasis. They do host live music, but only once or twice a year. Bands often refuse to play these kind of places due to their sports hall acoustics. The Brunel Rooms is essentially a nightclub, but it is known to host the odd charity event where Swindon's local bands can play, but the rest of the year it is merely a discotheque. The Swiss Chalet is a good place to hear live music, but sadly it doesn't cater for bands with original material. The Bell Hotel is in Swindon's Old Town. It hosts original local live music every Sunday. The music is, however, heavy metal and the Bell didn't have any plans to change its policy. That finally brings us to the Monkey Club, or as it's now called, the Venue. This club has done sterling service, providing Swindon with its best music venue. You can hear all types of music at the venue and it recently played host to Desmond Decker, Back to the Planet and blues legend Otis Rush. Here's local band Pollen playing at the venue. I spoke to Dan Garrett, the guitarist of Pollen, on his views on the state of live music in Swindon. Well, we're the sort of band that um, don't just sort of play locally anyway. We can go and play outside, you know, outside Swindon. We've got cars and stuff, and we do get gigs outside Swindon. But obviously, you want to sort of get up a sort of fan base in your own town locally. And um, there's really only two places in Swindon we can actually play our sort of music, which is fairly specialist, as in sort of heavy rock rather than sort of mainstream cover versions so there's really just only two places like the Bell and the Monkey Club which aren't really decent venues as such um, and it's not like there's always a really good crowd there or anything like that so I mean it's, it's not very good at all really um, and I don't know it would just do a lot for a music scene if there was a proper venue like for instance the Bristol Beer Keller or somewhere like that in Swindon and I think a lot of people would go to it as well what In other towns that you've visited, is the situation the same as in Swindon? Well, it depends on the size of the town um, and, I don't know, their situation. I mean, yes and no in a way, but like I say, again, using places like Bristol and Oxford, which are fairly near anyway. Um, Alright, Bristol's a lot bigger than Swindon is anyway, and so is Oxford, but you know, there are proper venues to play where they get a sort of 
well-known bands come and play, you know, on a weekly basis. You know, quite big bands, and I mean, there's nothing like that at all in Swindon, or really. I mean, how often does a, a well-known, sort of famous band play in Swindon? Hardly ever. You know, you might, you might get the odd band down the Monkey Club, like I mean, Desmond Decker was there not so long ago, and Back to the Planet are there tonight, I think. You know, but and that's about the only place. How do you feel about the current music venues in Swindon? There's not enough. There's not enough current music venues in Swindon. The pubs don't accommodate bands to the full extent that they could. Um, there just isn't enough places that bands can set up equipment and just play. Um, I think. I think really that in a way they're a bit abused. Do you think doing this would give Swindon's local bands a better chance of beca becoming successful by having a larger venue? Yeah, because more people will come and see see them. Um, the more bigger audience you've got, um, possibly louder, louder sound, more people will be interested in coming along, seeing local bands. Um, I have I have on occasion been to London to see live bands, but I think that um, in Swindon uh, you just don't get the sort of bands that I'm into here. It's mainly local bands rather than the sort of you know the good ones that are in the charts or you know, the indie charts or something. So. Well, a rather depressing report from Swindon, with a lot of local talent going to waste. There are rumours that a syndicate are planning to open a major live venue in Swindon, so let's hope Swindon will get the venue it deserves. In next week's grapevine, we will have that band of the moment, Oasis, and I will be in Cornwall with the techno ambient whiz kid, the Apex Twin.